morning. You know, yesterday I was complaining about sleeping in hotels. I think our fourth night staying in a hotel and I just isn't, it's just not very fun. Then I wake up this morning to this. How did he get up there? What is he doing on our tent? Should I smash him? Or relocate him? <laughs> Stay off my tent. This is the moment we decided to go for a trail run today. I haven't done a trail run in like three months. Today, the route map said it was easy. Let's see how easy it is. I'm in the zone now. Let the cash change what we on now. When I pull up, no, it's going down. Foot on the gas ain't no. I absolutely love trail running. Problem is, trail. Arrow? That's not the trail, it's a cactus. Right there, cactus, cactus. I almost ran, I almost ran into that cactus, right there. So now do I go left or do I go right? Oh yeah, Well, that sucked. It uh, didn't really mean to. Uh, I don't exactly know where I'm going. So why did I pick? Why did I pick trail running? For all the things. Well, in 2022, at the end of 2022, I read. Uh, David Goggins book. In the book, David Goggins like slips in these like ultra marathons and running and kind of, you know, his way of doing something like absolutely just nuts. The second time I read it, I noticed a pattern and I noticed it all around me. And whenever these patterns happen, I focus because it's something, it could be God, it could be the universe, it could be the energy, whatever you believe insert it here was telling me that majority of successful people but all of these successful people who i looked up to they ran they put miles on their body and i hated running i never understood it until i started running to this And it's a decision you have to make. Are you gonna cross it or not? Do I really wanna get soaking wet? I do that because that right there is life you come to a crossroad and you ask yourself are you willing to get uncomfortable I'm gonna have to run it in wet muddy shoes but that's what it called for that's what the trail called for can I turn back absolutely but I'm a guy that doesn't turn back are you now you get squishy feet Oh, so what I was getting out with the David Goggins book was figured out that you could push your body to certain lengths much further than your mind tells you it can. And that I, when I discovered that, like, I figured like, if I could run an ultra marathon, a marathon with little to no training, with no running experience, there's nothing in life that could stop me from chasing my dreams. 
I also missing like three or four toenails, but turn over there. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna cross the creek or turn around and stick to comfy couch? I say it, just, just run across the creek. Unless there's alligators. Alligators are back. That's the thing about RV camping. You have a bathroom. Your tent camping, you don't have a bathroom. I think she's done. Smells very clean. So today, today's kind of like a work day. I've got some editing to do for our other YouTube channel, The Adventures 3. You should check it out. 